Hello, welcome back. Vinyl Me Please. A combined video in a way because we now have the April batch of Vinyl Me Please and we have the Cadet box set that arrived around the same time. So quite some content to cover. Was quite some listening to do to uh, get through all of them. But it was worth the time and, and we start with the, with the monthly batch, go through those four releases and then get into the Cadet Records box set. Let's start this batch, the April batch, with the classic series release of this month and we have Odetta and the Blues. You can see the jacket. We have, of course, the hype sticker. Let's see what's on it. We have an AAA lacquer cut from the original master tapes by Ryan Smith Sterling Sound, who does really 80% of the of the Vinyl Me Please releases. And I personally am a huge fan of Ryan Smith from Sterling Sound, I think, I think he very, very often does amazing work. So this is, is always good news uh, when, when we see that Ryan Smith does the mastering. We have it, of course, pressed on black vinyl. We have our notorious Obi and the little booklet that always comes with, uh, with the classic series. And we have here the Riverside label, the vinyl, all good, all flat, a beautiful, beautiful blues record, well made sounds, very warm, soft, nice sound stage, all fine on, on, on this one. Now let's get into hip hop. And this month, we have, give me a second, I have to take the booklet out so that I can show it to you. She Low Gatefold Jacket. Booklet. Again, stunning, stunning release. What they put into their releases is really worth mentioning month to month and, and really worth showing in my opinion. So quite, quite something. We of course have our hype sticker and it says Gilo Green and his perfect perfect imperfections. First ever vinyl reissue of Gilo's immersive solo debut. Lekkers cut by Barry Grint, Alchemy Mastering at Air, pressed on exclusive 2LP Red Galaxy vinyl, and we have the listening notes booklet by Damas San Firenzo. So, yeah, the vinyl, of course, always something when it comes to the hip hop releases. Great album, great album. Very, uh, has a lot of effects, and, and it's Again, this is almost like listening to, to a movie, in my opinion. Quite an experience, great stuff, not too hard to get into. Really, really worth my time and, and real another highlight in the, in the hip hop series. So I know not many of you probably are into, into hip hop. Who of you has subscribed to this hip hop series? For me, this is every time so interesting because Quite honestly, a lot of this stuff I've heard about, but but it's nothing that I can. Oh, I know that. Can't wait for that. So this is always an, an interesting experience and 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 quite a learning curve for me. Great sounding, punchy. The bass, like in the very most cases on this release, is 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 a stunner. Before we get into the highlight, my surprising highlight of, of this month, we go, yeah, again, I said it uh, also uh, about the last release, a little guilty pleasure. 
We have another Kathy Musgraves release pageant material. Again, in very, very beautiful. This is gold foiled, very, very beautiful designed jacket. Booklet. No, I can't get shot. Okay, here we go. But a uh, text based. The hype sticker says Casey Musgraves' knockout sophomore album. Lecker's cut by Barry Grant Alchemy Mastering at Air, pressed on exclusive gold nugget vinyl. Listening notes booklet by Emilia, S Emilia Sutliff. Yeah, gold nugget vinyl. If you do gold vinyl, do it like this. This is really golden, not noisy, not noisy. So quite something sounds beautiful. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful pop, folk, world, country album. Easy to listening to. Nothing spectacular, but a very, very nice sounding release. I was, I was surprised uh, of the sound. I was very skeptical when I saw how many songs they put on, on each side, but works out, no, no problem absolutely okay album it's not oh you must have this but i'm quite satisfied with it happy to have it yeah the highlight this is the surprising the surprising highlight of 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 the month comes this month out of the essential series what an amazing amazing record this is See the gatefold jacket. Show you the vinyl. Yeah, we're talking sublime here, of course. What a fantastic album. The 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 music, the the sound, wow. A stunner. I'm totally surprised by it. Here we have the printed inner sleeves. <laughs> nice one. An additional art print, of course, and booklet, of course. It's it's amazing what they put into their releases and the hype sticker that says, "Lecker's cut by Ryan Smith, Sterling Sound, pressed on exclusive 2LP Burning Sun." Galaxy vinyl, listening notes booklet by Martin Sartini Garner, art print by Opie Ortiz. And as I said, this is a stunner. The music, boah, killer rock, ska, brilliant. And the sound, yeah, this is really a yeah album. I, 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 but of course, I didn't expect anything from it. Then I listened to it, and what is this? Total surprise, great stuff. Absolutely uh, recommend this 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 album. As I said, big surprise. Happy to have it. And and this is of course a cool thing when you subscribe to a series, you just get them. You don't get into them before. Should I get it or shouldn't I? You just get it, listen to it, and in the very very most cases, in my in my case, I really like the outcome. And so I'm still a happy cat when it comes to my vinyl me please uh, 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 subscriptions. Yeah, now let's get into the second part of, of this video. Let's get into the cadet box set that arrived this week's. We have Terry Collier on it, the Rotary Connection. Shades of Brown, Ramsey Lewis, Muddy Waters, Harold Land Quintet, Dorothy Ashby and Etta James. The mastering was mostly done by nobody else than Bernie Grundman. There has been some, some occasions where we had some tape degradation and so then we have a digital uh, mastering by Barry Grint over at Alchemy or Air, I think Air. 
but in general you can say 90% of the mastering has been done by by Bernie Grundman. We of course have a great booklet that comes with this box set. This is of course Ah, this is great, you know, you have the box set, you have the music, you take the booklet, you read, you listen. This, this is nice. We have beautiful, flat, great vinyl. This is, by the way, the amazing Terry Kellyer. I think it's, you know, the first album has become a re-release or a reissue uh, by Electric Recording Company two months ago. Now this is my second album of this amazing, amazing artist. Here we have the fantastic, the fantastic Dorothy Ashby. You know, Dorothy Ashby, jazz, harp, beautiful, soulful, nice music, really cool. I, maybe it's safe to say that these two albums are my personal favorite out of the box set. Here you, I can show you the Harold Landquist, the Peacemaker. Beautiful jacket. Of course we have a Muddy Waters. I'll show you the gatefold jacket. The man himself, here he is. We have an Etta James, Tell Mama. The new Rotary Connection, Hey Love. SOB, Shades of Brown. Also a fantastic jacket, great album. And of course, last but not least, Ramsey Lewis, Mother's Nature's Son. Wait, uh, maybe I, I look if this has a different. No, no, it has the. As a cadet, so I, I, I think I've shown all different labels. Yeah, overall the mastering, the sound of them is is top notch. Nothing to complain here. But for the very very first time, I have to say not so positive things about the jackets. I don't know why, but but it's okay. The print is okay, but somehow they feel a little bit like wannabe tip-on jackets. The, the box, yeah, the box is a little bit generic in, in, in my opinion. Maybe I'm, I'm getting too picky here, but, but I'm, I'm not super happy with the packaging. I have number 325 out of a thousand, hand numbered, all good. Okay, not, let's not get too picky, but with the monthly releases out of their uh, series, they put the standard and show what's, what's possible when it comes to the packaging so high that this box set, compared to those, is a little bit underwhelming, but Again, the box set itself, musically, sound-wise, vinyl-wise, again, a perfect uh, recommendation. And I really have to say, when I see their output, chapeau, every two, three months, such a th month, such a big box set, four series every month and tons of stuff left and right, then they go back into their catalog and re-release stuff. Pfft, that's amazing. The output of Vinyl Me Please, in a way, is almost a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> almost, almost too much. But hey, on the other hand, if you keep up this level, keep them coming. You don't need to get them all, so we have choices, we have alternatives, good thing. Okay, that's it for the April batch. 
The May batch is probably coming soon within the next, I think, 10, 12, 14 days. So we go into them, of course. Thank you for your time. See you on the next one. Bye.